15 months long, you never get a break. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult, you know, there's no doubt about it, to go through the hectic schedule that we do, uh, doing this thing all year round, uh, doing it at such a high intensity as well. It feels to me like coaching a young man's game. It's tough to envision doing this until I'm 50 or 60, but we're perhaps one of the most successful coaches in the world, uh, the most successful soccer coach in our country. I think he's got to be 60-something for Serena, so possible. Uh, and I, I also say, or continue to say, that we didn't sign up for easy here. Uh, and there's probably a lot of shortcuts that could have been taken along the way to make it a little bit uh, more manageable and more easy, but uh, we don't believe in that. We're just going to work as hard as we can. That's something that we take pride in. Something that we're going to continue to take pride in is that we believe um, that we have to work hard here, um, and that's the way to success. Well, let's go take that to the next step. I think most people would say last year wasn't a bad year. You know, got to the postseason. They didn't do as well as you wanted in uh, CONCACAF. But the expectations are so high, and it seems like probably even higher now going into this season. Yeah, we're a victim of our own success here. That's all like there's no doubt about it. But to go through a year like we did last year, I believe we had the most wins in franchise history. Um, and then to walk away, and I think all of us felt as if we had failed. Um, not just not succeeded, but failed. Um, so that's tough. But it is what it is. We continue to, to strive to be the absolute best. I tell the players that we strive for perfection, and the coaches do as well. So perfection for us is about winning championship, about advancing in tournaments like CONCACAF, and winning trophies. So we'll continue to, to do our absolute best to improve every day and to strive for perfection. Let's talk about the roster. Uh, some people might have been happy. Some fans just outraged uh, when Hamason and, and uh, Fabi were gone. Now, though, back comes Robbie Finley, and it seems like a lot of those detractors are, are, have smiles on their faces. Um, listen, I understand. Uh, I'm outraged as well to know that we're in a system where you can't keep your team together forever. I love those guys. There's no doubt about it. I love Will Johnson. I love Fabian Espinola. I love Thomas and Father. I feel like they're all part of my family. But we're in a system where we know, I and mean, we knew, going into the offseason that if we didn't advance in CONCACAF, we were going to have to replace three players at the very least. Uh, and so then it's about making choices. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, those choices meant that those players had to leave. But there was always going to be three starting level high salary players that had to leave. Jason, can you explain that? Was that the financial benefit you would have received by Yeah, team? Yeah, I and mean, when you advance in tournaments like CONCACAF, you get yourself into the finals of MLS Cup or with the MLS Cup, you get allocation money. That allocation money is significant enough that you at least you at least are talking about a player, maybe two players that you can keep going forward. So when we didn't succeed uh, in those tournaments, in those competitions, uh, it meant that we had no extra money. And also, the other part of it, the other point of it is, is that if you fail, you get extra money, as our system is right now. So either you win things and get extra money, or you fail miserably and get extra money. But being good uh, and not great is the worst place to be in our system. Given those losses, what's your, uh, your feeling coming into this season? The coaching staff and myself are very excited, actually. Uh, we're excited to have some new faces, some fresh blood in, in the group. We're excited to be coaching our system again. Whereas the past couple of years, there hasn't been a lot of uh, really breaking it down and coaching our system to, to players. It's just kind of like refreshers for everybody. So we see this as a tremendous challenge. See having new players and young players um, in our system as a challenge. Can we do it all over again? Jason, before getting too far with the new players and especially the rookies, what about one of the older players, Robbie, coming back? Not just from his physical abilities, but the chemistry and, and knowing the system. Um, probably uh, so far, my most exciting or our most exciting uh, addition is to bring Robbie back. He's a player that. that Really, really enjoyed when he was here. He's a, a, a great team chemistry guy. He's extremely hardworking, uh, and I think he's in the exact right position for success right now because he's also a player that hasn't done well over the past year and a half. Since the, let's, let's be frank and honest. I think there's no reason to shy away from that. He has not succeeded in, in his latest endeavor, so he comes back to us with something to prove. Uh, and in our prior experiences, when we bring players to our team that have something to prove and are hungry for something that those players have done particularly well. So we are excited to hopefully help Robbie get back to be 
seeing Robbie Finley on an upward curve. Along with Robbie being back, Javi still being here, had, had the chance to go international and say, hey, I want to stay with RSL. Yeah, um, Javier, we, we view was a very central figure in everything we do in our club. He's a, a, a linking guy for us in the locker room. He's obviously the playmaker on the field. So he's extremely important for us. We had a lot of anxiety about whether or not we were going to be able to get him back. Now that he's back, we're extremely happy about that situation. And in my estimation, again, a player that hasn't lived up to other people's expectations of him over the past year and a half. Uh, and so he comes back, I believe, with something to prove. Very, very hungry player. Even though he's been here the whole time, I think that he, he has a statement to make uh, in Real Salt Lake and in our league that he can play at the level that he was playing before he got injured. And I think there's a lot of reasons as to why he hasn't been able to, to achieve that level of uh, success that he has wanted and we have all of them over the past year and a half. So he comes, I think, with a fresh start and a real, real hunger.